Brendan here, AKA Mr. Weaver Face, and this is, as you can see, not a video game related video. This is actually related to my water heater. I have a bit of a situation going on, and what's been happening is that there's been water coming out of this relief valve here. Now, I replaced this last year. I didn't get a chance to put the pipe fitting on on the bottom part there, but I thought this was defective when I replaced it, and when I did take the old one out, it looked pretty gunky and messed up. So I thought I had uh, fixed the solution and maybe I did at the time. But a lot of times lately, a lot of water has been not just dripping out of here, but pretty much shooting out of here uh, with that uh, hammering pipe noise. And that usually does happen when the hot water runs. I have a bucket down there to catch the excess water, but it's just been uh, spewing out here lately. But I found some videos online and what turns out is that this thing here is supposed to have air in it so that when the hot water kicks on, you know, the pressure in here builds up and this is supposed to uh, withstand all that build up pressure. Now there is a kind of like a, on a, you know, like a bike tire, there's a little thing here that air is supposed to come out. But when I push on it, there's water coming out. You see that there? Um, that is definitely not supposed to happen and that means this thing is busted. So my plan is I did buy the tool, not the tools, I did buy the, uh, I did buy a new one of these and I did buy one of these but this looks like it's in pretty good shape so I'm hoping that if I can just replace this that'll fix everything. If I need to replace this I will do so but let's try one thing at a time. So I'm going to go through the steps as best as I can. I'm just taking knowledge from the internet and just sharing uh, my uh, knowledge with uh, what I learned and how I'm going to fix this and I'm just doing this to help to hope that it does help somebody else out all right I hear the stuff that I got at Lowe's um, so this is the expansion tank that I'm going to replace uh, it's not the same name brand and I hope it's a decent quality and doesn't fail with me in a short amount of time but that's pretty much all they had there at Lowe's um, I got a pressure gauge and unfortunately they didn't have any of the ones with the uh, the hose attachment down there so I had to buy some fittings here to uh, connect them so that this will work uh, on my outsize, outside hose line. And I got a tire gauge here, I'm going to use that to measure the pressure of this. And what we got to do is we got to measure the pressure of the, the, the water pressure to the house uh, with this outside and we got to match whatever we get on here. Uh, we got to match this up to whatever we get on there. So I'm going to go outside and measure the water pressure and see what it is. All right, I attached this onto here and just double checking. I did this a little earlier, but it looks a little bit over 60, probably 65. All right, this thing here is pre-charged with 25 PSI, but we need to add a bit to it. Try that again. So yeah, that's just showing just above 20 there. So we need we need a bit more, 65. That's what we need. So have the air compressor. We're gonna pump a bunch of air in here and hopefully get it up to 65. All right, we got that sucker pumped up to 65. Let's take this off. And we'll check with this to double check. Although I trust this a little bit more than this. It says over 60. Cool. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more in there and then we're good to go. All right, filled up the expansion tank to match the water pressure of the house. So now I gotta turn off the water. And turn off the gas. Then unplug this sucker. And what we're gonna do 
Just run the water. Until none comes out anymore. Okay, I did replace uh, this valve. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't take enough water out before I, before I took the old one out and all this water started coming out. So that kind of made a little bit more of a mess, but I'm cleaning that up now. So lesson learned, make sure you take everything out. I think it's, I, I thought I had it all out, but there was still a little bit left and I did have the bucket down there. So hopefully, you know, it did, it did catch most of the stuff, but so I did, I did decide to just replace this, and then I did replace this. I had to use a uh, pretty much uh, adjustable pliers, uh, and you want to unscrew it from here. You don't want to unscrew it by grabbing this thing and trying to turn it off. I mean, you could do that towards the end, but if you try to just unscrew it by just grabbing this whole thing, uh, this uh, may break here, so that's what it said in the directions. So definitely when you unscrew the old one, unscrew it from here, and once it's pretty much all the way, um, then you can kind of, you know, take it off once it's uh, almost off. And then to replace the new one, uh, I just put some uh, uh, plumber's putty on there, uh, on the thread and then on the outside, and I screwed it in pretty tight. I didn't go in all the way because the other one wasn't in all the way like that. But uh, Turn the uh, water back on, turn the gas back on, and plug the, plugged it back in, and everything seems to be going good. Nothing dripping from there, uh, nothing's dripping from there. So we're hoping that after some few hot showers or washing the dishes, that we're not getting any leakage, and definitely air, you know, there's no water coming out of there anymore. Uh, so this is all full of air to match the pressure coming into the house to match the water pressure coming into the house and uh, nothing dripping from here yet. So all I need to do at some point is just attach a hose to this with the drip pan um, to avoid uh, this all mess here. So I hope you get to learn from my mistake. Uh, good luck fixing either uh, your uh, release valve here or your expansion tank. Thank you very much.